All right. So today, my bestie, Rebecca, and I are going to be brainstorming how to help her get more sales on her Etsy store for mugs and tumblers. And this is um, the official intro to this video, but basically we're just letting you sit in on a brainstorming session. So it's gonna be super casual. We're not gonna show our faces because we like talking to each other, but we don't necessarily want you to see us. Um, but I thought it would be a really good idea for you to be able to see behind the scenes of how we do research for this kind of SEO for her Etsy stuff. Woo, that's Rebecca. <laughs> Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Tara. Okay, so we are gonna, I'm gonna show you exactly how I do SEO. And I have been doing SEO since 1999 before there was a good, well, I guess there was a Google, but it wasn't very popular. And SEO is probably my favorite thing in the world. I have two websites that are monetized. When I was um, went really active in my Etsy store, I've made over $30,000 in sales from a digital product store. I've made probably, uh, I think like $10,000 from my vintage Etsy store. So, um, and those are not, not gross. Um, Anyways, so I'm good at SEO. I don't want you to think that, um, you know, I just ran into this thing. So, all right. And Rebecca was kind enough to give me some of her lower seller mugs. We're not giving you her best sellers to teach you how to beat her, but we are gonna look at some of these, um, these mugs that are struggling, right? So that's what you wanna do. First off, you want to optimize the top 10 listings on your Etsy store. Make sure those are nice and solid. And then we're going to start looking at other ones and see what we can do. Right? Yep. And Rebecca has been my friend for like 12 or 13 years now. So she has a lot of knowledge about Etsy SEO too. But this is the funny thing as with anything. It's so much easier to see somebody else's take on your stuff than to be able to do it a thousand percent <laughs> right <laughs> yeah okay so there's a bunch of things that i do that are maybe a little different than how other people do etsy seo so the first thing i want to do we have this pretty halloween skull floor floral watercolor it's a watercolor yep coffee mug 12 ounce white coffee cup okay so let's think about the keywords that Rebecca has here. And she doesn't, don't start feeling bad for her. She's been my friend forever. She knows I'm gonna tear up her shit. It's fine. Um, so we have pretty Halloween skull floral uh, watercolor coffee mug. Cof well, we have mug and coffee cup. So she has coffee twice, right? Um, there is some um, thought that having exact words in Google SEO, like having coffee mug together and coffee cup together would help, but I'm not sure that that works with um, Etsy. From what I understand from their algorithm is they just kind of aggregate all of the um, words in your title and your uh, tags, they don't look at really your description that much to um, to do that. So maybe an extra coffee. And we're gonna find lots of things that we can, uh, keywords that Rebecca can use for her listings. So the first thing we wanna do is go to Google, go to the Google and type in Halloween mug which is the broadest um thing that you can say right seasonal okay so amazon is doing very well halloween mugs cat uh with an s witch's brew cauldron coffee mug nothing exciting there there's the etsy result and i did look that up and we're going to look at that later. 
Because it's important. Etsy's always going to beat you rather than your listing, right? There's just, you're not going to beat Etsy at that. And you can talk, Rebecca. That's why you're here. I will, but I'm also eating, so <laughs> I don't want to crunch in your ear. Yay! <laughs> oh, coffee mugs and teacups. Maybe it's a coffee mug and a teacup. So what I like to do is I like to pull over here, coffee mug, watch offs, right? And then teacups. That's exciting. We, we've been at it for 30 seconds and we've, we've got this already game. won the game. <laughs> we've already won. Okay. And so the next one I see is drinkware. And you may have some of these in your tags, right? But we want to, um, to find all these really good keywords. Ceramic. Yours is ceramic, correct? Correct. Ceramic, uh, coffee, Halloween mugs, and teacups. <gasps> teacups, all one word, which is different from in computer language. Teacups, two words, is different from teacups, one word, because um, the internet can only isn't. Oh Jesus! And Etsy search is not as smart as people are, right? So we have to be careful about that. Uh, da, 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 coffee mugs, coffee mugs. And then I do have a um, additional thing that is, uh, this is called um, Keywords Everywhere. And this is a paid service. You don't have to have this. This is mostly for um, SEO, but it does give us some good ideas. We can find this information another way though. Um, idea shalloween Ugh. okay That's so weird. yeah i feel like that got us a little bit and then we're gonna go to the pinterest and the, oh, pinterest, the real magic the pinterest bubbles came back so that makes me super happy um and by the bubbles i mean these uh top things that are all pastel right now um so coffee cups, see it's plural again. I would um, for sure have coffee cups in your coffee cups with the S in your tags at the very minimum. Um, and this is the same reason why, uh, especially with, I'm gonna call Etsy SEO dumb and Google SEO, SEO smart. So if you are a plumber and you can get plumbers into your copy, you want to do that because most people do not say, they might type into Google or they might say now that there's more spoken search, find me a plumber near me. But most people that are typing will say plumbers, plural, in trinity right that's just how people have been taught to do english grammar and so that's important to do okay uh vinyl is that a vinyl transfer do you know it is not it's sublimation sublimation okay um and i'm assuming that vinyl in pinterest would mean that somebody's using their cricket and they're trying to fit that would be more of a how-to so we're doing two things here we're looking for good keywords, but we're also looking for keywords that are related to shopping rather than keywords that are related to how to make a Halloween mug or how to decorate for Halloween or anything like that. Our um, buyer focus, we want to be on purchasing. Okay, DIY, see that's display, cricket, cute, cute. Cute is a good adjective. People are always looking for cute things. Okay, so let's let's go down here. Now we're not in the shop section, but I want to see if we have anything else. Okay, so we have witch, skull, and I'm collecting more than just the one we have. Um, Ok, 
Okay. Coffee mug. Toppers, those look very fancy. <laughs> very cute. Very cute. Spooktacular. I don't know what that is. Let's let's we're gonna look it up. Spooktacular. And this is something that if you're gonna be doing this um, as an Etsy seller. Grab yourself a cup of coffee. I have a glass of water. Rebecca's eating. <laughs> She's brought supplies. Um, October. Oh, October. 31st. Nope. 31st. Okay, let's go to shop. And this might seem like a lot of work, but you do this work once up front and then um, you can just, you know, sell more stuff, which is what I love. Okay, funny. Skeleton, jack-o'-lantern, ghost. Funny. Skeleton, jack. I don't know how to spell that. O, lantern, ghost. You can also, while you're doing this, get um, pumpkin. Get um, ideas for products you might want to make in the future. Spooky. We can't use Ray Dunn. Okay, we don't. We don't ever use trademark terms, and that's a lady's um, name, and. Additionally, even if you used her font, you know, you can't say Ray Dunn style. You can't do any of that. It's not okay. It's just not. That woman has done the work. Okay, funny again. People like funny things. Cat, black cat. Black cat. Okay. Let's see if we can find, if there's any more information about specifically a skull mug. Because that's what that is. So they do definitely put the, the type of mug. Ooh, skull mugs. We have mugs. We have mugs. We don't have mugs. Skull mugs with an S. And you'll see, it's very funny that sometimes, um, look at that, that's such a good thing. Big round handle, people like that. Day of the Dead. Now, is your skull mug a Day of the Dead skull? This one is not, but I do have an entire Day of the Dead collection. I love Day of the Dead stuff. Day of the Dead. Okay, let's keep going. Nope, that is, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Purple. So we got colors. What color is your mug? Okay, we have roses and daisies and pussy willows. I don't Those think people look sunflowers. Roses, sunflowers. I don't think people look up pussy willows, but I do think I people don't believe look they up do, but they might look up willow. Willow. Okay, so let's talk also about the elephant in the room. I do not believe in the make your title pretty Halloween skull mug, coffee mug, right? And then just shove everything in your tags. 
what does our well, well we'll look at that but remind me rebecca to look at what the names and the titles are of the thing i know that at different points in time etsy has specifically said that they would like you to have a very short title and then you can put all your extra stuff in your tags i say if they give me the room i am going to stuff as many keywords as i can into the area okay i completely agree with that because they only give you 13 tags so there is no way you can get all of those extra terms in those tags and get everything you want to say so uh sugar skull do you have that in your day of the dead in my day of the dead collection yes ma'am perfect Okay, I feel like we have a really good list. Let's head over to Etsy and see what they say. So trying to rank for Halloween mug is ridiculous. You're not going to um, probably be able to rank in the top. You could pay for it. Nobody's paying for ads right now. I checked already and um, because it's not Halloween time, it's the end of spring right now. And um, the buyer intent, if somebody is just going to Etsy and they're like, I want a Halloween mug, and they're typing in Halloween mug, their buyer intent is so all over the place that, that you're not, like, they don't even know what they want. Um, I think that white is important, that this is a white mug, because I think that um, people care about that. Like either they want like dark and spooky, like you said, this is pretty. I do think it is, you must, no, you don't have feminine. So you have, let's see, pretty, feminine. And these, uh, these, we're going to check these, right? I, I use a program called Marmalade to check these. I think um, Rebecca uses E-Rank. I like Marmalade because they get their data directly from actual buyer sales. I checked the pricing and the cost for um, per month for Marmalade versus E-Rank was like $7 more. And I would much, much rather, I was, when I found out that Marmalade had like actual buyer data, for me, it was like getting SEM Rush, which I pay $100 for, for website stuff. I think it's super important to use real data when you can. And the fact that you can get it on Etsy is amazing. It just makes me so happy. Okay. So look, clear. So they're just giving you a real overview of, this is a terrible picture and she is winning. I hate that. That's cute. I like the different color of the candle. I love this saying, we are the, we are the granddaughters of the witches that they, they could not burn. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, so. I feel like this is way too ambiguous to help us, right? Like this doesn't help. I'll so agree. let's see with your pretty. What happens if we do pretty Halloween month? Aw, she's pretty. <laughs> Which Merry Christmas, I don't get that. Oh, these have ads. Okay. Oh, so, yeah, that first row was all ads, I believe. Yeah, that popped up. And there you are, pretty. There, yeah. You are, but now we need to find out. I'm going to go into Marmalade and say pretty Halloween mug. And it's going to think about it. it. It needs a minute to think about itself. It takes a second, but it's also because we... Um, we're running Skype. Oh, there's another one of my mugs. There's floral. Floral. Do you have floral? Floral. You have floral. OK. 
Okay, floral. I think it's very feminine. What about girly? Girly or girly? Because I would ask for a girly mug. Oh, this is yours too? Yep. Okay, so what do they say? No searches, no engagements. Pretty high competition, 177. I'm going to check girly Halloween mug. And I'm going to check girly Halloween mug. And I'm going to check pretty Halloween cup. Okay, so the results here are, is it long tail? So Halloween mug would not be long tail. You want to have, when absolutely possible, a long tail. Um, and what that means is, I'm going to walk you through it. If you look at, at a descending curve on a... Um, chart at the top is all the sales right so halloween mug is at the top of the tail and then going down is every other return and it's something like 15 percent of all searches done on google every day have never been searched for which is crazy okay we're not getting anything oh girly g-i-r-l-i-e has really low competition so we're not seeing any searches but we're also this is these two on the ends are kind of good oh the competition is high so we want these two in the middle so girly halloween mug is something i would put in um those are cut files cute is in there I think we had cute, right? We need cute. Yep. Okay. Let's do, because we haven't found any really good ones yet. Oops. Cute Halloween mug. What happened with cup? Cup and mug are almost exactly the same, except for you can charge a little bit more for a cup interesting interesting i like knowing that okay cute halloween mug jesus look at that that's so, too much competition i mean it's still in the green but it's a lot of competition so that's too much competition so for a little mug like this and let's talk about your intent as a seller I like to have a mix of like your day of the dead sugar skulls ones are going to sell better, right? Um, we're not going to look at those because those are, we do not, we're not doing that. But this little mug at, at Halloween time, if you could get 10 extra sales from it, for doing just a little bit of research, that makes it worthwhile. So if it was me, I would at this point say, we have enough data for you to do um, that very specific, seasonal specific keyword research, and I would stop here on this one. You don't want to put a ton of time into one like this that's just going to be every once in a while. But I feel like, do you feel like you have way more keywords to use that you might get some of those long tail sales? Absolutely. Okay. Did we find any new ones that you didn't know about? We found ones that I probably have not incorporated into this particular listing. Perfect. But that's that's the thing you want to do each listing individually because what can happen i know this you have a lot of items in your shop right and what can happen is you fall into the oh i can do it with my vintage stuff it's a 
it's a uh, salt pig. It's a salt dish. It's a tableware. It's a, and you're just trying to get that listing out, right? And then, and that's fine. It's better to have a poorly SEO'd listing on Etsy than to not have that listing on Etsy. But I do think it's worthwhile to go, you know, every once in a while, pick four or five of your low sellers and do the SEO for them. Now, this is another big question. When we do this and you're changing five listings in your in your Etsy store, will that freak out the Etsy algorithm? Number one, we are not touching your top 10 listings, right? Not this never. <laughs> right? Um, you can touch your top 10 listings, but I would change a keyword, not the entire thing, right? I would touch one top 10 listing this week and one top 10 listing next week. Right, you don't want to really shake that up very much, but these are your bottom of the barrel listings. You want to start, you could you could change all five of these today, especially like your Halloween ones. It could be that there's absolutely no search volume because they're predicating it on the last 30 days of search volume. And so, you know, I bet you we would get, and so this is a, this is a very big tip, big tip. Next Thanksgiving, after you eat your turkey dinner, do the research, SEO research for Halloween because that data is going to be there. And it's hard to do on any keyword tool data when it's not um, the right time of the year. Or you don't Good pay it or you don't pay a ton of money because um, like SEM rush, you can change the time of the year but it's $100 a month, it's super expensive. Okay, I have a huge question for you. I don't get this one. You don't get the, I'm a drop the no. F-bomb kind of mom? No, I, totally, I, I totally get the, I'm a drop the F-bomb kind of mom. I don't get this one. What is this? Um, that is a bug that people who know what it means will get what it means. And those who don't will get that it is a personalizable and you can put any name in there in place of Alexis. Uh, you're, so I was trying to figure it out and it does not say personalizable. And that's why we are going through these listings today because these are the ones I have not updated in a very long time. <laughs> Okay, so that but this is great. Pers personalized, customized name. Okay, so we're gonna go over to Marmy, and this is Marmalade. I'll have a link to this below, and I'm also gonna have a big, huge website post that will help you if you're more of a reader than a than a walker. Okay, so we're going to say personalized mug, customized mug, name mug, and these are not going to be long tail. We're going to have to find other words. And what's the Alexis thing? We will discuss later. Okay, offline. Oh, okay. So personalized. So this is what you want to look at also. Okay, so this, this searches per month looks great, right? And there's an engagement means they click through to check out the listing. But this is only double. So everybody who does a search for this is only clicking two listings. On this one, everybody who does a search for this is clicking three listings, right? So that's good. Now the competition is redonkulous. Gift for her. Custom mugs. We don't have custom mugs, just custom mugs.
thinking, thinking, thinking. Nothing thinks as long as YouTube. <gasps> Look at that. Except maybe Skype. <laughs> custom mugs is better than customized mugs. Interesting. I would not have thought that. So it goes personalized mugs. Personalized mugs. You would think I would type better. Considering it, that your fingers I, can't keep up with your brain, though. I know. Customized mugs. OK, so now name mug doesn't seem to be name mug is not good. Um, custom cups. Custom coffee cups. So for me, I kind of feel like on at least one of your listings, I would Mac out the custom thing. Because there's not as many searches, but they're. Um, none of these are still long tail. Oh, they don't like custom coffee cups at all. Isn't that interesting? Very. So you have coffee twice and nobody cares about coffee. Apparently not. Who knew? Who knew? Well, you have to look it up. OK, so. Let's look up. Well, if they're not searching for name. How Personalized mug. Let's try that. That's a very pretty one. So you need like Mother's Day gift. Gift for mom. Gift for mom. I'm not going to do it. Um, you could have present. Oh, you would do Mother's Day gifts and gift for mom in your tags because those are two different actual keywords. Um, gift is like twice or three times as popular as present. Although in my family, we give presents, not gifts. Personalized mug. Custom, co see they know about the custom. Those are ads. Floral, personalized gift, gifts for her, so her woman you can do the sister friend we have mom mother is different than mom now Kara button who i love says that etsy search is getting slightly better at synonyms but um i don't i wouldn't risk it olivia's mom oh that's cute I should get one like that for Emmy. You should. Okay. That doesn't look like a coffee mug. Oh, wow. That's a fancy one. Okay. What's yours? Where's this? I would Mac this one out for teacups, like for your whatever you're going to tell me later, but I would also do teacups. Personalized teacups because we found that. Because I always thought of teacups as. You know. Kind of that, but they're calling mugs teacups. I do find that very interesting. I do too. But you're not selling any anyways, so why not? Why not? Always try. Agreed. They, they remind me of these floral ones that this lady is selling. And you're going to want to do white again. Mm -hmm. White and pink, you've got that already. 
Maybe let him know you can change the name because Alexis seemed like a weird mug. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love this one. Um, funny mug. Now, do you have introvert in your tags? I believe I have introvert and misanthrope and a couple of those terms in my tags. Okay. Listen. I still want to be invited, but I'm not coming. Do you have, so, so all of these feel like, introvert mug. And I feel like we have to figure out some more long tails for you for the mugs because we have to get further down the chain. Oh, that's cute. Two people-y. That's a sweater. Maybe it is mistagged. 6,000 results. Funny introvert mug. 4,000. Better. Sarcastic. Snarky. Oh, we're going we're gonna to start some here. I have some mugs that have sassy as a keyword that do rather well. Sassy introvert mug. Snarky introvert mug. Cute introvert mug people spend a lot of time looking for cute things let's get funny okay oh snarky has has um the same engagement and stuff but okay let's talk oh and you can pay, you can charge more <laughs> I am good at picking things you can charge more for. Um, let's talk about the fact that these get zero, right? Less than 25 searches per month. So less than 25 is not zero, okay? And the problem with Etsy compared to Google Right, because you know me and Google. I'm like, okay, well, I could have snarky, but Google can extrapolate that snarky is funny, sassy, you know, whatever. Um, what about introverted friend? So here we would definitely do snap, sat, I would do snarky first then sassy, then cute. Look at that, look at that. Cute is beating the heck out of funny. Cute. Okay, we're gonna check out here. We're gonna check out gifts. Gifts for her. Gifts for Friends, gifts for introverts with an S. Gifts for best friends. And you cannot go wrong by having best friends because then you get best in there and then you have best gift for, right? Because we're just accumulating Interesting. 
I want to know why gifts for her is so much higher. Gifts for introverts is really good. And I would have that um, in that exact order in a tag somewhere. Um, lower searches, but. When you can't charge as much. Why? Okay, gift for introverts, introvert gift, introvert sh best friends, birthday. Oh, we got to get birthday in there because people are always looking for birthday presents. Oh, 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 white elephant. Gift. Gifts for wife. Let's go to my favorite site, thesaurus.com. I love my thesaurus. I have two real life ones. And I think that's one thing, Rebecca, that, um, Etsy sellers do is you said you use in rank, I use marmalade. You kind of get stuck in that um, echo chamber of there. Wallflower, thinker, loner, homebody, homebody. I don't mind that. Homebody. Hmm. I'm finding this one harder. And I love introverted things. Let's try this. Let's try Pinterest. Are we thinking about coming back or just no? No? Okay, there we go. Definitely click it a few more times. <laughs> you know me. Introvert. No. Gosh darn it. It's not going to do every time I clicked it, is it? It, can't. it looks like it is. <laughs> <laughs> darn it. Oh, there it goes. It came back. Okay, oh. I'll just highlight it. I'll highlight it. There we go. Introvert mug. We'll just ooh, 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 ooh. another place you could go because I'm not feeling the love is Amazon. Amazon sells everything. And Amazon um has a lot of data. They have better search than uh, glossy. Glossy is mm. a word. Okay. I don't know oh, well that does. what about work from home? Work from home. Oh, if you. Is that a, hold on. Nope. That could be a work from home mom. You, oh, maybe we could go about that. Like not the introverted way, but the, you know, stuck at home, work from home mom. Let's look up those. It's worth a look. It's worth a look. Gift. Nope. 
gift for work from home mom. Gift for work from home. Work from home mug. Home, no. What do they call those kind of workers? Offsite workers? That's too obscure for Etsy. Remote workers. Remote worker mug. Okay. Oh, work from home mug. Work from home mug has searches. <gasps> Why is there so much competition? Pandemic. Well, first off, okay, here we go. So this is gift for work from home mom. Work from home mom. There are only three mugs on the entire Etsy site with that keyword. So no matter what, no matter what, I would put that keyword in. If you can find a keyword that there are only three mugs with that keyword, then do it because it is a thing. We should hide that one from that. We won't, <laughs> but that's a good one. This one has almost no competition, but I don't know if I feel like that's the same. What? Let's go back to Amazon because they helped us with that one. Oh, I have to put glossy. That's right. Glossy. Funny introvert gift ideas. Social distancing. I don't know about that. Introverts unite separately in your own homes. Funny. Best anti what? What is anti what? What is that keyword? Antisocial? Antisocial. Antisocial gift. Satirical. Oh, we are going to try this. I'm going to put it in your words. Rebecca is the only one that gets the list of words. You can take your own list. Antisocial and no. What really makes it crispy is the steaming water on the. Thank God I didn't have. That's some a great long tail keyword. <laughs> <laughs> that how what was that word? Satirical. Satirical. I don't know how to spell that. I'm just going to keep clicking it. At least a dozen more times. Sassy. I'm helping you. You are helping me. This is 14. This is 14. Okay. Come on, Marmy. Help us. Satirical gift. Anti-social gift. Oh, satirical mug. Anti-social mug. Now, you may be thinking, like, if you're just going to put all these keywords into your listing or tags anyways, um, why does it matter? Right? Like, why are we trying to figure out which has higher or lower keywords? Because that's one of the things I always think of. I, while I think you should use all the top of your um, title, you want to find out the one that you have the most chance of ranking for and put that in the front, especially for these long tail ones. Look at all those. Those are really good. Those are all considered long tail. Satirical mug, sister, is you can charge more for it because people who know 
the 10 letter keywords, the $10 keywords will pay more. I'm totally taking that one. Yeah. Ironic. Do we have ironic mockery? Ironic. I'm loving all these keywords. <laughs> I know. And these are all keywords directly. These are these are specific to Etsy in Marmalade. These are specific to Etsy. We are just, um, yeah, I don't know why it was so hard to get out of that introvert. Thank you, Amazon. And thank you, Marmalade. You both have helped me immeasurably. Okay, we need to get to the mom one because as always, we're going on forever because I love the SEO. Okay. Oh, coworker. Gift for coworker. Ooh, I wonder about those. Do you have you done any research since you're not using the marmalade? Do you want me to research um like coworker, work friend? Yeah, yeah, go ahead and research it because I use E Rank and it's it looks very different than what Marmalade looks like. I would say a lot of the data is very similar that you're finding, but these are words I have not researched. Let's just find work friend, see what. Oh, there's coworker gift. There's a lot, but it's not. Let's try funny coworker gift. Oh, we got to do. Hold on. So coworker as one word gets searches. Work friend gets searches and it's long tail. Oh, work friend is good. Okay, coworker, work friend, gift for work is really bad. Don't do that. I mean, you can, but funny coworker gift is not long tail. Interesting and really high price. So I would do work friend. That's like, a good one. Yeah. That, I mean, like the coworker. What about coworker? Yeah, I like. I mean, I if I'm gonna hone in on a real keyword, I will um, like a big one for my business. I'll show you what happens um, in the regular one because you get a lot of information about like that. Etsy considers co space worker a different keyword. That is very interesting. Yeah, because it it's not um it's not smart. Let's check that. Thank you, gift. Oh look, she has lots of co hyphen worker. Oh co-worker I think co space worker in internet looks like co-worker because it disregards the hyphen in programming language but I'm not 100% sure on that we would have to ask Johnny J Don't click on the ads unless it's a big company. Co-worker gift. And I switched to um, Firefox because I use Chrome and they have data about me. My, my Firefox is um, totally clean. I'm not logged into anything. I just use it you know, randomly. Okay, so coworker gift. 
Administrative Professional Day. Interesting. Clicking, clicking, clicking. A few more times. Come on. <laughs> really? You're gonna you're gonna get pissed at, at my text file? Okay, gift for coworkers. Okay, so we're checking things. So we have funny coworker greeting card, corporate gift. A corporate gift, new job gift. There's a lot of good gifts in here. Farewell. That's nice. Oh, that's very nice. Okay. So we have different. No emotional support sticker. It's different. There are two different searches. That's crazy. That is insane. Yeah, Etsy search is not smart. It's just not smart. Okay, I feel like we could help that mug very much. I feel like you are right about that. Okay, I'm okay. So we got to do the mom. Yeah, we do. <laughs> All right, let's do the mom and then we'll be done. I know you have other ones, but let's see what your other ones are. Oh, we didn't even do tumblers. Maybe we'll have to get together again and do tumblers. Look how cute that is. That would be a plan. Oh. Make a domestic violence awareness tumbler for me, please. Not not for me. Oh, and I love the true crime. Oh! Okay, you have such cute mints. But um, for the tumblers, so that we can do the research on the domestic violence next time for the tumblers. Sounds good to me. We don't got time to do tumblers today. I think we're over an hour already. Okay. This is mom mugs. Oh, for the love of God. Let's see how many there are. What about mother mugs? Mom cups. This is gonna be ugly. What? That surprises me. That surprises me a lot, especially with Mother's Day coming up. Why would that be? Dog mom. That is very interesting. Maybe it's too. Maybe people. Maybe people are aware that that is too. Too uh, broad, too generic. I don't know what to think about that. It's definitely mom, not mother, though. I mean, you can put mother in there, but. Ooh. That's I... what I was going to say. <laughs> Let's go see what Etsy says. <laughs> well, I'm going to say mother. Let's say mother mug. And let's do mother's mug because people type in mother's day. It's a different search.
it's a different search because that is mother and daughter. Mother and daughters five so that mother and mothers is a different search. Um, I'm flabbergasted. Dog mom mug. I am Bunny mom mug. Snarky mom mug. Not long tail, not very many searches. Nobody wants to buy their mama mug? What's the matter with you? Oh, that's getting better. But still not what I thought it would be. Okay. So when we get something like that, it means that people are not searching for mom mug and it means that Etsy search is stupid. So we're going to do mom. There's mom mug, but they're searching more for mom gift. Mom Life. Is Mom Life trademarked? Oh, good question. I think it is. We can get around it and we'll tell you how to get around it. But you don't want Mom Life in your title if Mom Life is trademarked. Amen. I know boy mom is trademarked. But it seems to me like mom life was trademarked. I'm guessing it probably is. And this is Tess. I will have this in. Um, I will have how to use this in the. Mom life dead. Oh, let's go back, back. Mom life live search. Small life, cheer mom life. Mama life. Hashtag mom life. I don't see just mom life. That is a surprise and also good news. Yeah, like, so what that tells me from having do the, do, done this um, a long time is that the trademark people said that mom life is too ambiguous and you can have, you know, mom, army mom life can be trademarked, cheer mom life can be trademarked, but just mom life isn't um, specific enough to be trademarked. Hashtag mom life is. And mom yeah, life and is. I'll bet you there are a lot of people that don't realize that that hashtag mom life is trademarked because I see that pop up a lot, especially on Etsy. Oh, really? Because that is specifically trademarked. Um, so I wouldn't make a mug with Mom Life um, specifically because it's too. Um, what about, you know, the. Um, where's my thing? Uh, 
the Christian ladies are always doing the mamas. How do you spell that? Uh, M-A-M-A. -A. Do they do M-O-M-M-A? -M -M I don't believe so. I'm checking. Good thing to check. Seventy-five searches. It gets more searches than mom mug. <laughs> that is crazy and also figures. Yeah, I'm telling you. Okay, you need mama in there. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's. I was just going to make life harder for us. Because we can just come down here and see what the keywords are. Mama mug, gift for mama, mama gift. More people use that spelling than I realized. Yeah. <gasps> My 14 year old son still calls me mommy. Only because Desi calls me mommy J. Makes me happy. My kids call me Nana or Grammy. Mommy Mug is long tail, 29 searches. Really good engagement. It's one to one. I would like it to be higher, but I can live with that. Lower competition. So Mama is your best. M-O-M-M-A and then Mommy and then Mama. I'll put them in order for you. Very interesting. Mama, mama, mommy. Do we have some good keywords? Mommy smugs, mommy mugs, mom mugs, mommy gift. I don't get this. I don't get why there's so few mom mug searches. Because they are searching for a specific type of mom. They have, I mean, that gift mom is ambiguous, but. Oh, isn't that interesting? Mom Christmas gift, mom gift. They're, they're looking for mom somethings. New mom gift, softball mom, stepmom, baby shower gift. Funny mom. Mug for mom. What about mug for mom? They're starting with mug. <gasps> They're starting with mug. We're starting with mom and people are starting with mug. Mug for mom. That's why, because we don't know how to search. That explains a thing. <laughs> well, but that's the thing is that um, as a seller, you get stuck in your head that you know what searchers are doing and because that's how we think in those keywords. And if you have mom mug in your title of your description, instead of mug for mom and more people are doing mug for mom searches, you're going to rank lower for it in search because they're going to go with an exact match. It's still really low, but it's better than it was. That is crazy. Doesn't anybody buy mugs for their moms? Look at that. You know what this is going to be? Tell me. Mother's Day. Oh, yeah, of course. Duh. Or Christmas. Or it could be Christmas, yeah. It could be Christmas. Hold on. 
How about if I shut down some of these 11 billion things? I'm waiting. What happens in Amazon? Oh, it's super mad right now. <laughs> I was just going to say, you need at least 15 more clicks. Stop it. <laughs> okay, let's shut down Firefox because that doesn't help. Really? You're that mad about everything? I'm just mad at you. Okay, what happens if we start with mom? Mommy and me, mom birthday gifts, mom gifts. Mom mug is the first one if you type M. From daughter and from son, we wouldn't necessarily have from in our keywords. True. Ah, interesting. Because you know to do four women, four step, four whatever, but I don't know that we have from. I don't know that I would. Do you have from? I don't believe I have from in any of my 2000 listings, no. I yeah, like I don't know. That's weird. Interesting. Yeah. So you and the 12 people that are going to watch this video are going to know about it. Oh, Super yeah. insider secrets. Mama, mommy, ma. Bruh. 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 I can't even. I have one of these. Mug. One of my little children gave me that. It's a top. Oh, here it is. Mom facts. Yay. That's my water tumbler. <laughs> or I bet you they do best mom, best gift for mom. They're just not searching the way we search. They just don't search the way we search. Which is fine. We just need to know. But that's why we do all this research is so that we recognize that oh recognize that and can adjust and overcome. Yep. I see it. Life. I'm surprised Amazon let that through. Yeah. Mama. <laughs> That's really cute. That is cute. <laughs> There's oh. some cute mugs. Yo, the best mom ever. Super cute. Okay, cuter. now we need to know, okay. Now, I feel like if we're not fighting on the mom part, what about the cussing? Cussing, swear. Swear words. mugs. No. There. They're going to change my baby's hours. Oh, yeah, my. Don't be happy. I'll have to go fetch the baby earlier. Okay. Swear mugs. Cuss mugs. I want to find the, um, what do you have? F bomb mugs. Do you have explicit? I have not, but we'll see what the results are here. I do so, use swear mugs, but explicit I have not. All long tail. The only one we're getting yet is swear competition. 
Oh, these two are good. F-bomb mugs, explicit mugs. Oh, F-bomb is three different ways. No, two different ways. F-bomb and F-bomb. Cussing mug. Cuss. Curse, curse words. Rude, profanity. That person, this top seller, did her thesaurus search. Okay, we're going to check and see if we are a, a, non-explicit video so we're not going to say this but the f word you know you guys i wonder if f word that one f word that one f word that youtube hates <laughs> i love that one Okay. First row is ads. So what comes next? This is in that Ray Dunn font. Vulgar. We had vulgar, right? We don't have we vulgar. We don't have vulgar. I wonder if that variation of it. I don't think so. Okay, so let's do our how people search. Mug for mom with the F word. Cuss words. Those are ads. This one is doing very well. She's the top of a bunch of them. That's cute. How it goes, A, B, C, D, E, F, U, C, K. That, that's really cute. <laughs> See, this is why when I say don't use trademark stuff, mm -hmm. you can think of cute things on your own. Yes. Right? Yep. Okay. Real moms use cuss words. Real mom mugs. I feel like There's a whole group of people that like real mom things. Oh, and then you get the real housewives too. Oh, nice. Real moms. Interesting. I would get real in there. And mom and moms. There's from daughter. She knows about the from. She got it. I love that there are mugs for every type of mom, like police mom. I think you would do good with that, do a series of real moms, because a lot of them are coming up as 
Real Housewives. Nice. I bet you there's no searches. But in the lexicon of Um, it's a thing. Yeah, it's long tail. Oh, you get real estate agents too then. I think there's a lot to go with that reel. Like you're going to get um, good stuff. Real housewives, real estate agents, real. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know if it's for the smug, but I think that's something you could do. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So we are going to wrap this up now. Um, since we've been going on and on and on, as I said, I'll have a link to Marmalade if you want to use that in the description, as well as a link to my blog post that will give you lots and lots of details and information about how we do this. Signing off, Tara and Rebecca, thank you for being my guinea pig. Oh, thanks for having me. Yay. <laughs>